Thank you very much, Chong, and I acknowledge we meet on the land of the Kulin Nations and pay respects to Elders past and present and all Indigenous people here with us this evening. I also acknowledge Chung, your family, who are here to share this occasion uh, uh, with us, um, uh, Jason Yip, um, Tim Ong, uh, Ken Ong and uh, Sue Morford, who are here uh, this evening, um, uh, distinguished guests, anyone who's travelled uh, uh, a distance to, to, be, to be here. It, it, it really is a very great honour uh, to have been invited to, to speak tonight. Um, uh, and not past drinks, by the way. Um, uh, that's, uh, uh, although uh, I could be forgiven for doing so, and then, then you'd all be surprised. Um, uh, it, it's very special to, to be asked to speak at an opening of an exhibition. Um, at the heart of the visual arts uh, is an artist often in a, in a lonely existence, in a studio by themselves, spending you know, long hours thinking about their creativity. Um, and so an opening of, ne of an exhibition like this is actually like an opening night uh, in the performing arts. It, it's, a, uh, it's an occasion where you know, friends can, and acquaintances and, and a community can come and celebrate the occasion with the artist. Um, and to collectively say thank you and, and congratulations. The, uh, a, a bit over a year, a bit over a year ago, uh, Chung interviewed me for uh, his magazine, which uh, I think just got a small plug a few moments ago. Uh, not late, but the magazine. And, and he observed me very well, and I think uh, very fairly in the article that he that he wrote. And I'm you know really pleased to have an opportunity to return the compliment um, by observing. Um, uh, his work. Um, it, in a way, it's easy to, to describe Chung by what he isn't rather than what he is. Uh, as far as I know, he's not a nuclear physicist um, or a medical doctor, uh, but he is a force of nature, uh, uh, a businessman, a curator, a collector, uh, an artist, um, a traveller, uh, a friend to many, a journalist, a publisher, um, a writer, um, considered in all sorts of different ways and in different fields. And, and I think to sort of recognize that, that, that you know, we're here to celebrate an, uh, uh, an act or a performance within the visual arts, but there are, there are many other categories uh, uh, in which he could be, he could be uh, referenced. The title of this exhibition, as you've just heard, Imperfect Creation, or I'm, I'm a Perfect Creation, already captures, I think, a, an element of both the serious intent um, as well as the uh, suggestion of playfulness that, uh, uh, that is in some of the works. This is also, it seems to me, a very friendly event. Um, um, you know, friends of Chung who are here to celebrate uh, uh, the moment and that sense of friendliness I think sort of permeates uh, the atmosphere that's been created in the room. We Melbournians should feel really honoured uh, that Chung has chosen to exhibit his work here in Melbourne. Um, it's all the more remarkable because this work is in bronze. You just heard 350 kilos of bronze uh, cast in Malaysia, brought here by ship, uh, and assembled uh, in the gallery by both brains and brawn. Uh, now that's no easy task uh, to do, and I think we should uh, you know, thank Chung for actually having chosen this community and this place uh, for, to present the, the work. sculpture and in particular works in bronze require significant artistic skill and design, the blending of, of that selected material, an artist's soul and imagination. They're harder to transport, although somehow that was overcome. Uh, a greater length of time is, is required to be undertaken to produce them and they are in and of themselves expensive objects both to, to produce and, and transport. The logistics of making this happen are considerable. Uh, that this has happened is actually a compliment to all of us. It feels very personal, and on behalf of Chung, we are grateful. Uh, on behalf of everyone, Chung, we are grateful and thank you for bringing this fine exhibition here. And I think another round of that. The exhibition goes way beyond being the promotion of Malaysian culture and identity. There is a universality about the medium and the ideas that the, work, that the works convey. This is an exhibition that speaks to all of us. These are works of art that, as noted in the catalogue, carry a common language 
and that speak without barriers and beyond boundaries. I love in the presentation and documentation of these works that in addition to the excellent catalogue, which I know is available to be ordered tonight, I think I was going to say that at some point, and now I've done it, um, uh, and I'm sure there'll be a way of everyone uh, doing that, uh, but in addition to the catalogue, a proof of which I, I've had the privilege of, of reading, there is also um, around the room the, the written word um, in strategic locations. Some of the recurrent themes that are being explored in this exhibition uh, as conveyed through both the catalogue and the written word are modernity, uh, social order, identity, selfish attitudes, tenderness, fragility, loss, living, loving, caring. I particularly direct you to that, uh, uh, to that wall hanging there. Race, religion, nationality and ethnicity, freedom. These themes are born of a social realism familiar to us here in Melbourne through some of the great works of Arthur Boyd and Albert Tucker. Multiple perspectives, political struggles, passion, inspiration, versatility. This is a talent from within, but also revealing uh, is a talent of observation. Perhaps Chung's own talent as a collector, the development of taste and aesthetic, iconography and composition, colour, forms and shapes, methods and techniques. I like the comment uh, about his insatiable visual appetite. I know that central to much of the work is the sentiment expressed by Chung, if one cannot see ugly, uh, then one cannot see beauty. That is the artist's quest, to keep peering over the horizon, having us reflect upon layers of meaning, telling and reminding, carrying memories down, seeing something through observing something else. Jung, thank you and congratulations.